Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate uh, Notion with uh, Outlook, with Microsoft Outlook. First of all, what we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at Notion.com. Once we are here and once we are done, we want to go to the automate.eo to make this integration happen. I will leave the link uh, in the description for automate in uh, underneath the video. So what do we want to do? We want to go and hover over integrations on the top corner of our screen. Once we are here, this pop-up window will show up and we want to go to the bottom left con corner of this window and uh, click on see all categories. Now, in this little search engine, we want to start uh, with looking for Notion. As you can see, it's right here. We click on Notion and now we have to um, choose the app that we want to actually connect. It's in our case, Outlook. Uh, we write down uh, Outlook or just Microsoft Outlook, it's up to you. We click on the Outlook uh, icon. And as you can see, those are some popular integrations you can choose from. Uh, if you can't, uh, if you can't find the one that you are looking for, you can always scroll down and you can create your own integration. Uh, right now we have to pick a trigger, like new database item, and we have to pick an action, send an email. And uh, one is in Notion, one is in uh, uh, Microsoft Outlook. Remember, just start with the one you want to start the trigger with, so not with the Outlook and uh, not in uh, Outlook and uh, Notion as a second one. First is Notion, second is uh, Outlook. And we want to click on Try it now. Once we click on Try it now, you'll be redirected. You have to log in to Automate and basically just finish your integration. The second way how we can make this work is uh, through zapier.com. Uh, straight away we have to create ourselves an account at zapier.com and once we've done that let's go to the top left corner and we want to start with the make a zap. We can name our zap like uh, notion to outlook like this we click on enter and it's uh, the same process like it was at automate. We want to start with a notion here we press Notion, we want to trigger event, continue. Uh, we have to log in with the account that we created a couple of minutes ago. We hit continue. And now we are we have to set up a trigger. If you're familiar with uh, Notion, uh, you have a couple of items in your database. I don't have any because, uh, yeah, I just created the Notion account for this uh, tutorial video. Uh, but you just click on it and uh, you press continue. Now we can go to the second uh, second action and the second action, as I said, is Outlook. Go with Outlook, we click and we update the contact as a first option. And uh, the last thing is you just have to sign in with Microsoft Outlook. Outlook sorry. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.